All right, something huge in the bug room today. I really hope they're still doing it. Really, really hope. This is crazy. This is, oh, I can't remember what it, conspecific grooming in a cockroach. And I don't think that's something that normally happens in non-eusocial insects. But not only, not only, well, it could be, could be slightly antagonistic to get a, get a good angle here and zoom in. But the body language doesn't say aggression related, and that's definitely grooming behavior going on there. This is the Nyctobora from uh, Arizona here. That Okay, that was a bit of a nip, but still. When I, as, as you all saw when I came over here, they were definitely, it was definitely mutual. Up, oh, up, oh, yep, that's, that's a little, that's a little antagonistic. Uh, so maybe not, maybe not conspecific grooming. Maybe not? Definitely, definitely absolutely awesome behavior. And, yep, that's antagonistic. Well, they're complex organisms. Who knows exactly what was going on there? But here's the documentation of it. Definitely an undocumented behavior in Nyctivora species. There you have it. These are actually, while well, I'm actually filming, these are actually an ectobiid. These aren't a bladded. They're the largest ectobiid in the United States cockroach hobby. We haven't bred them in captivity yet. These these are actually the first two wild caught females. Actually, this is an undocumented species in the United States. We didn't even know they ranged into the United States. But they're about oh maybe an inch and a quarter long. Really, really cool species. Again, they look like bladids, but they're actually in the family Ectobiidae. And just really cool. And yep, it looks like she chased off the other female. So maybe it started off as a friendly interaction and evolved into something else as it went on, but really, really cool. And documented in good quality video. Very excited to have to have done that.